If you guys have a Super Duty and you want to upgrade your headlights, this video is for you. This is the GTR Lighting Ultra 3. It's GTR Lighting's brightest bulb, and it's the brightest bulb I've ever tested out of hundreds of bulbs on this channel. I'm going to show you how to install it and what it looks like compared to stock. The third generation of the popular GTR Lighting LED bulbs provide even more darkness destroying output than ever before. Unlike its competitors, every aspect has been carefully considered, resulting in a multifaceted masterpiece that leaves no detail behind. It's equipped with custom LEDs. It's a powerhouse that ensures unparalleled performance, while its optimized positioning guarantees efficient light distribution, eliminating the wastage. GTR Lighting is committed to building a durable LED bulb. It's 100% potted and waterproof, ready to conquer anything. It's also super compact with an internal driver, providing 4,700 lumens of luminosity output with effortless installation. It's also backed by a lifetime warranty. It's a bulb that outshines and outlasts the competition. Just remember, LED headlight bulbs are not street legal in the USA, and we advise you to not drive with these installed on public roads. In off-road settings, these are fine to use, but using bulbs this bright on the street may be uncomfortable to other drivers. The headlights on your Super Duty are massive. It's this gigantic reflector-based headlight housing. Reflector means it's got a bunch of mirrors, and then the wire-wound filament from your H11 halogen bulb bounces off of those mirrors and then projects down the road to give you that beautiful low beam beam pattern. They did a good job with that from Ford. However, it's not very bright and I hate the color. And down here, you've got a 9005 bulb. So even if you don't choose the GTR Lighting Ultra 3, just make sure you get the right bulb type so it actually fits in your vehicle once you yank the front end off and get it installed. So I'm gonna show you guys what the light outputs look like now. I'm gonna back this truck up from the wall about 10 meters. I'm gonna use a digital lux meter, which measures the actual usable brightness at the brightest point on the wall. Then I'm gonna install GTR Lighting's bulb that came out years ago, the Ultra 2, and then the Ultra 3. And this is what your stock halogen lights look like. Like I said, it's a pretty good beam pattern, but the color is terrible. I only measured 421 maximum lux at the brightest point on the wall. The Ultra 2, the bulb that came out years ago, I measure 1,834 maximum lux. So it was 336% brighter than your original bulbs. With the Ultra 3 installed, it blows those numbers out of the water. I measured 2,847 maximum lux at the brightest point on the wall. That's 576% brighter than your stock halogen bulbs. Not to mention the beam pattern is very similar. Like I said, they did a very good job replicating that original bulb, keeping it compact, a set it and forget it product. This is 100% the way to go. On high beam, again, your beam pattern's not that bad. And your brightness level is pretty good at 1,081 maximum lux. The Ultra 2 looks like this, and it was 2,972 maximum lux, so it was 175% brighter. The high beam on the Ultra 3 bulb was 5,110 maximum lux at the brightest point on the wall, which was 378% brighter. One thing I want you guys to note is the difference in color between the Ultra 3 and the Ultra 2. As you can see, the Ultra 3 is a little bit more warmer of a light that just is more comfortable to drive with long distances. Installing this bulb is a no-brainer and I 1,000% recommend it. It's pretty wild to see that much improvement of light by simply changing out two halogen bulbs on each side of your vehicle. Now, the install, you do have to pull the front end off. If you want to know how to do that, I'm going to show you that now. If for some reason you don't need the install, go to headlightrevolution.com and get your set today. This bulb is live, but I can guarantee you it's going to sell out really fast. It's super popular and it's such a quick and easy fix to change the front end look of your vehicle and your light output. To get it installed, first you need to pop the hood. With the hood raised, you want to remove this black plastic cowl above your grill. You're going to have a variety of push tabs. Remove all of the push tabs, and then you can pull the plastic cover away. Then you're going to have four 10 millimeter bolts to remove. Remove all four of them at the top of the grill, and then the two push tabs in the center. Now there's two little panels on the front of this grill. Get yourself a pry tool and work your way around it. A plastic pry tool is recommended so you don't scratch this up. We're going to pry it away. Once it's removed, inside here you're going to have a 10 millimeter bolt. Grab your wrench and remove it. 
Now your grill is free to be removed from your vehicle. Work your way at the bottom on one side and pull it towards you. Then work your way to the other side and pull it towards you as well. There's some tabs on the bottom and I didn't need a flathead to push down. They just popped out pretty simply. Your vehicle might have a front camera. If so, disconnect that now. And then you can set your grill aside. I'm gonna work my way to the driver's side headlight first. There are three bolts holding on this headlight housing. There's one on the far side here. It's a 13 millimeter bolt on the side here. It's really hard to show on camera, but it is there once you reach up and look. And then you got two 10 millimeter bolts on the top side. Then take this little flange, pry it up. With all bolts removed, you can grab your headlight and gently pull it towards you. It's gonna take some finagling because this headlight housing is really in this vehicle. Once you get it pulled away, remove your dust cover on the top bulb, that's your low beam. We're going to reach in, turn that bulb counterclockwise and disconnect your OEM connector and then grab your GTR Lighting Ultra 3 H11 bulb, connect it and then make sure that it seats in properly and then that cord is aimed down and it's aligned properly. Do the exact same thing on high beam. Take the dust cover off, grab your bulb, turn it counterclockwise, pull it away and then disconnect it. Grab your 9005 Ultra 3 bulb, connect it there and then install it, making sure it seats properly. And do not forget these dust covers. Put the dust covers back on no matter how long it takes. You will thank me later. You won't get issues inside of this headlight housing. Now, if you get these bulbs installed and you do get a really bad beam pattern, it's probably because it's not aligned properly. Out of the box, they fit perfectly, but if for some reason yours is turned a little bit, you can use the included Allen wrench and then adjust them. You want it to look like this where the cord's aiming down and the LED chips are shooting horizontally. If they're not, for whatever reason, locate the little screw on the side here. Once you find that screw, take this and we're just gonna loosen it up. You don't even have to remove that screw. Do not remove the screw. And now you're gonna notice that this collar is loose and that's going to allow you to put it into the headlight housing and then get it just right. Once you dial it in, we're gonna have you lock it back down and you're good to go. Now, if you're driving down the road and people are still flashing you, it could be that you have your headlights aimed too high. Just take a Phillips screwdriver at the top of the headlight housing and turn this little gear clockwise or counterclockwise, and that'll raise or lower your headlight housing. If your truck is lifted, I would recommend dialing it in perfectly. You do not want to blind oncoming drivers. If you want to really dial in your aim of your headlights, watch our other video where we go completely step by step to make sure you don't blind oncoming drivers and don't get blinded by the road in front of you. After that, that's all it takes. It is so much brighter. Again, these have a lifetime warranty. It's a no brainer. And I hope to God they're still on our website when you go type in your year, make and model at headlightrevolution.com. This is so popular. It's probably gonna get sold out. Get yours now before it does.